you guys? Today we are in Wyoming. Why? I can't really tell you. I just really wanted to go to a new state and I don't really know what we're going to do here, but we're going to explore because one thing I do know about Wyoming is that it's gorgeous. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so the Wyoming residency fee, because I just became a, a resident of Wyoming because I don't want to pay $12, I only want to pay 7 all we really got is this bag of uh, change, so get seven dollars out I apologize I didn't bring cash so if you come here bring some cash you know it might help you out a little bit let's go explore Wyoming <laughs> located about 23 miles from Cheyenne off of Wyoming Highway 210 since Kurt Gowdy State Park Sitting on 3,395 acres of land during the summer season, this state park offers boating, water skiing, paddle boarding, fishing, biking, archery, hunting, and rock climbing. In the winter season, hiking and camping is about all you can really do. But look how beautiful it is. And it was practically empty. I knew coming to the first state park I could find in Wyoming was a great idea. It's quite windy in Wyoming. <laughs> This is my first time using my microphone with a windsock and I think it's perfect because Wyoming is super windy. Not just a little windy, but like super windy. I'm not gonna lie, the wind got to us pretty quickly so we decided to check out the rest of the park by car. The landscape was gorgeous. I had people asking me, why are you going to Wyoming? There's nothing there. But clearly these people don't find beauty in nature because I was awestruck the entire time. I came across a hill on the side of the road and I couldn't help but run up it. Boy, am I glad I did. Look at this. Oh, it's just so beautiful here. So we're parked at one of these campgrounds, um, but you don't need a reservation if it's not within the times on the sign. Are the bathrooms closed? Bathrooms are closed during the off season. <laughs> There's not really anybody here, but it's super beautiful. We are back in the car and off to downtown Cheyenne. <laughs> It was about a half hour drive to Cheyenne and we were pleasantly greeted with some free city parking which is quite rare. My first thought was what an adorable town but it's not a town, it's the capital city of Wyoming. I guess this is the first city I've been to without an insane amount of enormous skyscrapers but I'm not complaining. First we checked out the city center which had a map of all the important buildings around us. Well if we just head straight we'll eventually get to the capital. <laughs> We also saw four of the 19 booths crafted around the city. I didn't learn how many there were until after I got home, but now I feel like I have to go back and find them all. After walking the surprisingly quiet streets of Cheyenne for some time, we stepped into the most eye-catching Wild West store because I thought a black cowgirl hat would look really cute on me, but uh, I wasn't ready for the price tags that they came with. Oh well, maybe next time. It was still an awesome store to check out, and the selection was huge. I loved the art and the architecture that the city had. There was a lot of color, and I think that's really important to set a good vibe to the city. Unfortunately, a lot of the museums and shops were closed, so we stuck to street walking mainly. I definitely wanted to see the capital though, so we headed in that direction. I really love capturing the beauty in different cities. No city is exactly like the next. And then the streets were quite empty due to corona, the vibes the city radiated were great. It just makes me more excited to think about coming back. We seem to be the only ones wearing masks here, but... We're at the state capitol building. <laughs> Alright you guys, I hope you had so much fun exploring Wyoming with us today. I know it was kind of random, but we saw a lot of beauty along the way. I will catch you on the next one.